Hello, welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a Zoom class, uh, and it's a flow class, so let's uh, come to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breath. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying calm and relaxed here for a moment. Couple more breaths. And we're going to slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale your arms up, reach for the sky. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Big, big stretch. Exhale down. Hands to the thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Stretching out the neck next, ear to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, center, exhale. We can go to the other side. You to shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand to guide or support the head, stretch. No need to rush, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly come back to center, take an inhale to center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder, go to where you're comfortable, inhale, center, exhale to the other side, stretch, slowly, slowly come back to center, take an inhale, exhale, lift the chin up, stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Inhale to come back to center, exhale, we're looking at the right armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Inhale to come back to center, exhale, we're looking at the other armpit. Slightly tuck the chin in, 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly come back to center, shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, pull back. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bring hands behind your back, go ahead, bring your hands behind your back. And don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side, arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first, place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Try to bring the hands closer and closer together. So we can work towards this using the yoga strap, about a scarf and so on. Now we're gonna slowly release, shake it out, hands on the shoulders. Elbows in, elbows out. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades, opening up like half chest, improving your posture, oiling the shoulder joints. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow close in together. Increase your range of motion. Now change direction. Go the other way. Keeping your joint flexible and mobile. Now we slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale and come to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm to crescent, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Feel the length in the side of the body. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale, when you go to the other side, bending the lower arm, top arm to crescent. Stimulating meridian points, acupuncture point in the side of your body. Now we're going to inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale, twist, opposite hand, opposite thigh, back hand behind your spine. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. And we're going to be holding it here for three, 
two, and one, slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. So when you keep turning, inhale, prepare, exhale, turn, turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly release, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna to come to torso turn, shoulder roll. So starting out a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper torso turn, moving your shoulders as well. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, go the other way, change direction, reverse, touching off all corner of your space. The head doesn't move, so don't spin so fast that you make yourself dizzy. And we're gonna slowly come back to center to release. Inhale your arms up the length of the spine. Exhale back down, walking the fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders are relaxed, neck and spine in one straight line. And we're going to be holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly walking the hands back, coming into a neutral tabletop, spread all your fingers, wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. So inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, round your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in tight, looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times. Set your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between word breaks. Cat and cows will help you with a relief back pain. Two more times. And one last one. Slowly, slowly curl back to center, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're going to take an inhale to center, exhale to over the right hips, squeeze the shoulder and hip together, let the left hip drop. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side, forming a C shape in your spine. One more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right, squeeze. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Bring the shoulder and hips together. Slowly, slowly come back to center, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back toes down, core strong. Holding it here for three, two, and one. If you need to release, release. Otherwise, we turn and grab hold the back foot, lifting it up so that the thigh is parallel to the mat. Slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Cat, uh, bird and dog, opposite arm, opposite leg. If you find that this is challenging to balance, lower the back foot, toe down. Neck and spine in one straight line, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release, swing side to side. We reflect the needle next, we're gonna inhale the right arm up. Exhale, we're gonna slide through the opening, dropping the right shoulder down. Left arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Beginners, you can stay here, both hips are level. Bring a little weight in the head or neck. And if you like, can extend the left leg out on your toes, putting more body weight on the right shoulder. Be mindful of anyone who has shoulder, knees, or any issues at all. Slowly, slowly release, using the left hand to push yourself up. And we're going to repeat on the other side. We're going to inhale the left arm up. Exhale, on the side through the opening, dropping the left shoulder down. Right arm can be out in front of you or wrapped around your waist. Now, you can stay here if you like to extend the right leg out on your toes or off the mat. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Don't worry about raising the back leg if this is challenging for you. 
holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly release, using the right hand to push yourself up. And from here, we're going to get ready to stand up. So from tabletop, we're going to go into an arm guard. So tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into an arm guard. We will walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees, like mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Big, big stretch. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes, lifting the heel high, high up. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Again, inhale up on toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. Inhale, come forward to a plank, wrist underneath the shoulder, toes underneath the hips. Exhale to down and up. One more. Inhale, come forward to plank, not sticking the butt up, not sagging. Exhale to down and up. Slowly walk forward towards the hands, and now we're in the forward bend. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are hip width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones. Dangle here for a moment. Lengthening the spine, stretching on the back, opening up the hip joint, stretching the hamstrings. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below half, so if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. We're going to get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly, one more to breathe at a time. Rise up to standing. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. After you've come all the way up, we're going to go back and to counter. So interlace the thing behind. Now comes down and away from you. Shine the chest up to the ceiling, not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders on top of hips. Go to pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up on hard chest. Improving your posture. Stretching the front of your neck. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up. Soft knees. Don't lock your knees. And we're going to slowly, slowly release. Really shake it out. Coming into a crescent moon. All 10 toes facing the front legs are hip width. Inhale your arms up, palm touch, release index finger, grow tall. Exhale when you bend towards the right side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Inhale, center the length and exhale to the other side. Shoulders and hips are level, chin is away from the body, side body long. Slowly come back up to length and exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm to press and move. See if you can bend a little bit more in your side bend. Slowly curl back up to length of the spine. Exhale when you go to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm to press and move. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly, slowly curl back up, thumb down by your side. Shake it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat, big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale your arms up, palm touch, back bend, exhale, hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mats, back or hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees. Tack your elbow by your side to come down. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Shoulders are relaxed. Eyes are coming up. Exhale. You fall back on your knees. Tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Five breath here. Spread all your fingers. Middle our index when you're facing forward. Separate your feet, two feet apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Align your gears by your inner arms. Eyes are looking at your toes. And now we look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, forward bend, slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch, 
back bend, and then I'm down by your side into a mountain pose. Tall and strong in mountain, continue. Inhale your arms up, elbow salute, palm touch, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to your flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step a hop back into your plank. Stepping the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbow lower than the shoulders. Immediately slide up to cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog. Five breath here. Shoulders are external rotation. Elbows are internal rotation. Eye off the elbow facing each other. Coming into a warrior one on the right side. Inhale. Right foot forward towards the right hand. Pivot the left foot to 45 degree. Square the hip to the front. Arms up, holding onto your ball. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back foot is at 45. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Eyes looking up. One more breath here. We'll open up into a warrior two. Bring your hands to heart center. Widen your stand. I'm selling tea, palm facing down. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs, not leaning forward. Strong arms, strong core. Work the legs in the warrior series. Now we're gonna get low, getting into a side squat. Hands on mat, front leg straight, back leg bend. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. You're gonna feel the stretch in your hamstring. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Now we're going to slowly walk over to the other side. Repeat. Front leg straight, back leg bend. Point the front toes up to the ceiling. Know your range of motion. Couple more breath here, and we're going to walk back to the center of the mat, getting ready to come up. And we'll meet you in warrior two. Take your time to set up. Front knee still 90 degree on top of the ankle. Back leg is straight. Extend the side angle. Right elbow resting on right thigh. Left arm up. Top hand is at the 12 o'clock position. Reach and stretch. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Locate the top thumb. Slowly we mirror top arm over to form one straight line. Form the baby finger to the back heel. Top palm facing down. Lengthening the left side of your body. For those who wish to challenge themselves, release the bottom arm, holding onto your big beach ball. Keeping the body up and open. No change in the legs. Coming into reverse warrior, flipping the front arm up. Back hand down the left thigh. Top arm is a crescent knee, looking up. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a triangle. So we're gonna shorten our stance, swaying the hip out. Both legs are straight, arms are in T. Shift to the front. When you can't go in more, windmill the arms. Bottom hand, six o'clock. Top hand, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Old palm facing out. Lift and stretch. If you can straighten out the front leg, lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly rise up. Use the length of your mat. Going into a goddess. So toes lined up to the corner of your mat. Hands up by your chest. Inhale up, exhale down. Slightly take your, tuck the tailbones in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. You don't have to go very far down. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Release the arms, and we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So leading with left leg forward, right foot at 45. Front knee is 90 degree on top of the ankle. Don't exceed the ankle. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up. 
holding onto your ball, palms facing each other, pinky slightly curving, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes open up. Now we're going to open up into Warrior Two. Bring your hands to heart center. I'm sewing T, palm facing down. Do not lean forward. Same down. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Coming into extended side angle. Left elbow resting on left thigh, right arm on reach and stretch. Top hand is at the 12 o'clock position, looking up. Now putting whole lot weight on the front thigh. Now we're going to slowly remember the top arm over to form one straight line from the baby finger to the back leg. Top palm facing down, lengthening the right side of the body. For those who wish to challenge themselves, release the bottom arm, holding onto your big beach ball, keeping the body up and open. Coming into reverse warrior, flipping the left arm up, right hand down, the right thigh. Top arm suppressing, looking up. Feel the length in the left side of your body. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Slowly, slowly release. I'm sorry, T. We're going to go into a triangle here. So we're going to shorten our stand, swing the hip up, both legs straight, shift to the front. We can go into more very low arms. Bottom hand, six o'clock, top hand, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other, both palms facing out. Feel free to slide the bottom hand up and down to find a spot that you can stack the shoulders on top of each other. If you can straighten out the front leg, lock the front knee. Slowly rise up, come back to warrior two for a moment, and we're gonna come and do the side squat. So we your hands down. Doesn't matter which leg you bend first. Point your front toes up to the ceiling. Get low if you can. Don't worry if you're not able to get low. Watch your back, watch your knee. You should feel the strength in the hamstring for three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly walk the hands over to the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Get the other heel down. Try your best. Don't worry if you're not able to lower yourself down. Know your range of motion. And now we're slowly walking the hands back into the center. Take your time to rise up. And now we're going to do a wide leg forward bend. So legs are about three feet apart. Now we're going to do pigeon toes. Hands on waist for support. Take an inhale first, exhale. Hinging from the hips. Leaning with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, release the hands down. Bend the elbows towards the back of the room. Release the head down. Take care of your breath here. Opening up the hip joint, stretching the inner thighs. Let's be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath here. We're going to inhale to a flat back. Exhale to go back down. Walking the right hand over to the left side. Grab a hold the ankle of the foot. The other arm up. Reach for the sky. Looking up. Slowly release the hands down. Walking the hands over to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite foot. The other arm up. Reach and stretch. Looking up. Slowly, slowly walking the hands back to the center of the mat. Getting ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly one more at a time. Rise up to standing. Once you've come all the way up, heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. All 10 toes facing the front, legs are in work. We're going to come to a chair pose. Inhale your arms up, sit in your chair. Weights in the hips. You should be able to see your toes with your toes. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Inhale up, exhale down. Fast to height. You don't have to go very far down. Cactus arm for those who have shoulder issues. 
Let's do another three, two, and one. Sit here in your chair, holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. I'm down by your side. Shake it out, alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Change direction, go the other way, circular motion. Slowly come back, shake it out, make a fist, inhale, shoulders up to your ears, make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, sign it out to release again. Inhale your shoulders up, carrying a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Up, up, up. Very tight. Ah, sign it out. One last one. Inhale your shoulders up. Shake it out. Coming into a balancing. Come to the center of the mat. My left is your right. Heel down first. Spread the toes, grab the mat. Same the back toe down, we will come to the tree pose. Turn the other knee out to the side of the room, toe down, calf thigh, half lotus, anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to heart center. Take an inhale first. Exhale, rise up, lengthen the spine, grow your tree. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches. Shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly, slowly bring the hands together. Two, release, very good, shake it out. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. So heel down first, spread the toes, wrap the mat. Sing the big toe down, shift the weight to the standing leg, turn the other knee out to the side of the rib. Toe down, calf thigh, half lotus, anywhere but the knee joint. Bring your hands to heart center. Inhale first, exhale, rise up, lengthening the spine. Inhale, exhale, open up the branches, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly bring the hands together, two, release, very good, shake it out, we're going to do one more, we're going to shift the weight to one leg, all four corners of your foot is pressed down, shift the weight to a standing leg, Bring up the other knee, flex the foot, turn the knee onto the side of the room. Raise the other arm, look at the opposite direction. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle, tall spine, abs are firm for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the knees back to the center. If you need to tap down, tap down, okay? So weights for support. Extend the leg, point the toes up to the ceiling, holding it here for three, two, and one, kick it out, two, release, shake it out. The other side, all four corners press down, regardless of whether you're high arch or flat foot. Shift the weight to a standing leg, bring up the other knee, flex the foot, turn the knee out to the side of the room. Look at the opposite side. Looking at a twisty point, something that doesn't move, that will help you with balancing. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly bring the knee back to the center. If you need to tap down, tap down. Hands on waist for support, extend the leg, point the toes up to the ceiling. Couple more breath here. And kick it out to release, very good. Shake it out and we're gonna to come to seated. Take some water if you need, stay hydrated. Bring your sole of your feet together, wrap your hands around your ankles, setting up nice and tall here. And we're gonna rock side to side, finding your sitting bones, opening up the hip joint, stretching in the thighs. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab hold of the big toe of the entire feet, inhale to lengthen, exhale, gauge forward, leading with the chest, 
Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Bring the stomach a little bit closer. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. And we're going to be staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. When she wiper, bend both knees. This is hip width, hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. Don't lean back too much. And we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. So let it fall wherever it falls. Knees don't necessarily have to touch them up. Hips can come off, hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we're gonna drop both knees to the right side, forming a 90, 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay down. You're gonna feel the stretch here, put yourself hip joint, looking at the opposite side, not leaning back too much. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center. Windshield work for a few times. Hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the other side. Forming a 90 90, you can adjust the angle to suit your knees. Make sure the butt stay down. If you lift the hip up, you're not going to feel anything. The stretch is here, put yourself hip joint, looking at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort, and we're gonna be holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly come back to center, wing should wipe a few times. Hip release, hip opener. And when you're ready, we're coming back to the center. Get the flesh about out from your butt, point the toes up to the ceiling, hands by your side. Sitting up nice and tall, the alignment is shoulder on top of hips, chest proud, not pushing the stomach forward. When you're ready, we're going to go into a double leg forward bend. We're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Leaning with the chest, holding on to any part of the feet, the legs, so release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. We're not doing head to knee, so entire unit has to come down. So you have to open up the hip joint first before we can go anywhere. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up and coming into one leg forward bend. My left is your right. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, grow longer. Crease when your hands will be beyond your foot, holding on to the inner part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Feel free to use your yoga strap, your belt, your scarf to get you into the alignment. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slowly, slowly come back up. And from here, we're going to go into seated twist, bring the back leg on the outside of the straight leg. So those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. So on this side, do modification, opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind the spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand, prayer hands, any variation. So we're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well. Holding it here. Four, three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly come back to center. Count and twist, go to the other side. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. Front foot is on the line. You know that's the side you're going to. And we're going to stay here for another three. Two, and one, slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs. Answer a few times, and we'll repeat. One leg forward bend on the other side. So we're going to point the toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to the front. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale. Now we're going to hinge. Leading with the chest. Holding on to any part of the foot. The legs. Or release the hands on that side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. 
Neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slightly bend the knees if needed, if you have tight hamstring. And when you come down, stomach come down first, chest, head is the last thing. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Come into seated twist. Bring the belly on the outside of the straight leg. And if you like, and bend the bum leg. Both butts down, both feet on the ground. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. Sit up tall. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind the spine. Front arm can be stop sign hand. Prayer hands, any variation. So we're going to inhale to prepare, exhale to turn, turning the neck as well, holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly bring the body to the opposite side, bow down, counter twist, bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique, the side of the body. Front foot is on the mat, so you know that's the side you're going to. Slowly, slowly, rise up. Straighten out the legs. Bounce out a few times. Coming into a wide leg. Use the length of your mat. Ankle on your mat. When you're ready, we're going to come to a wide leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale. We're going to hinge from the hips, leaving with the chest. Hands in front of you, bending the elbows, small room to come down. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. We're not going head to ground, and time unit has to come down, so neck is long, spine is straight. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back up. And from here, we're going to go into a side bend. So, right finger hooking on the right toes, bring the toes to you, bending the elbows, the other arm up, reach and stretch. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of the body. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Wrapping the top arm around your waist, keeping the top shoulder up and open, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. I'm going to do a forward bend on this leg, so we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen, exhale and turn the body to the right side. Hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, holding on to any part of the leg for the toe. Chin is raised on the body, eyes looking forward, neck is long, spine is straight. Inhale to prepare, exhale to fold. Slightly bend the knees if needed if you have tight hamstrings. Working with your breath to get you into a, the alignment. Neck and spine in one straight line. So we have good posture always. Now we slowly, slowly rise up, walking the hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose, grounding the straight legs, spread the finger on this side. So the wrist, elbow, shoulders are in alignment. Make sure the eye of the elbow is internal rotation when you're ready. Use your strong core abdominal muscles to lift the hip off the ground. Coming into the gate pose. Reach for the sky. Couple more breaths, and we are slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. And same hand, same leg, the other side, forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, and now we'll repeat everything on the other side. So we're gonna come back to a wide leg. If wide leg is uncomfortable for you, fold the leg that you're not using. So we're gonna reach for the toes, bending the elbows. The other arm up, reach and stretch, reach for the sky. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Stretching the internal organs on the side of your body. Feel the length. Don't worry about touching toes or touching anything. Don't pull a side muscle. Now we'll wrap the top arm around your waist. Reach for your opposite thigh. 
Okay, bring the top shoulder up and open. Slowly, slowly release. Now we're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to follow the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale and turn to the straight leg. Shift forward, holding arm to end by the foot. The legs are release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking at the toes. Inhale to bigger. Exhale to fold. One more breath here, we're slowly walking the hands over to the other side, grounding the straight leg, spread the finger on the other side, wrist, eye of the elbow, shoulders aligned, eye of the elbow is internal rotation, use your strong core abdominal muscle to lift the hip up, top arm up, shoulders stack on top of each other, reach for the sky, holding it here for three, two, and one. Take your time to rise up. This hand on the thighs, the other arm up, forming a crescent, looking up. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Take your time to lower yourself back down and straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. And from here, we're going to transition to come lie down on your back for reclining poses. And if you need water, take water first before you lie down on your back. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the lateral curve in your lower back, arm down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Chin to chest for all lying down poses, and we're going to set ourselves up for the bridge pose. So keep your knees bent, your knees are two fists apart, don't open up too much. Walk the heel close, your fingertips. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're going to lift the hip up, shine the chest up to the ceiling. Engage your core abdominal muscle, your core to step and your glutes are firm. So in another words, pull your belly in, your thighs and your butt are firm. Holding it here. For a your breath. All the way, in the shoulder, bring little weights in the head or neck. Chin is almost touching the chest, stimulating thyroid gland. We're going to inhale the arms up above the head, fingernails on the floor, cactus arms are fine. Keeping your hips high, high up. Staying here for three, two, and one. Slowly release down, back down by your side. One more to bring the time. Release the spine back down. Once you've come all the way down, you can straighten up the legs. Bounce it a few times. Leg left is next. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the right leg up towards the sky. Using abdominal muscles. Hands behind the right kneecap. We're going to do ankle exercise, point and flex. Feel free to bend the left knee to protect your back. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Sliding the head foot up the leg, lifting the hand chest up, head to knee. As long as you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. And we're going to slowly release the head down and down by your side. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the legs back down on your mat using abdominal muscles. Bounce it a few times. Now we're going to point the right toes up to the ceiling. Slowly lift the left leg up using abdominal muscles. Don't just swing your leg up and down. Hands behind the left kneecap. We're going to point and flex the left foot. Feel free to bend the right knee to protect your back. We're strengthening the ankle joints so it's not so easy to slip and fall and twist your ankle. Sliding the head foot up the leg, let's pick the head chest up, head to knee. Hamstring stretch. Along you feel the stretch is good to go, no need to overstretch. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly release the head down, arm down by your side. Nice and slow with control. We're going to release the left leg back down on your mat. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Double leg lift. Press firmly on the mat. Use your core abdominal muscles to bring both legs up to the sky. 
Flex the feet, let the blood circulate back to your heart, helping you with circulation. Energize the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness, increase your immunity level, improve your digestion and sleep quality. When you're ready, we're going to slide a hand foot up the leg or grab a hold of the big toes, lifting the head chest up. Tailbones automatically comes off. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. Slowly, slowly release the head down, up down by your side. Nice and slow control. We're going to release the legs back down on your mat using abdominal muscles. Once you've come all the way down, we can bounce it a few times. Wing releasing on the right side, wrap your arms around the right knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax the grip, exhale, squeeze. We are massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending colon. So anytime you feel bloated, constipated, wing releasing would be a good one to do. Point the left toes up to the ceiling, so both legs are engaged, both legs are working. Right hand on right knee, using the gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse, massaging the right hip joint. Change direction, go the other way. And from here, we're going to transition to a spinal twist. Right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close and far as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the right side of your neck is good. Upper body still on the mat. Only the hips comes off. Stretch, strengthen and tone the lower back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly come back. To the center, straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. And we will repeat wing releasing on the other side. Wrap your arms around the left knee, draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. We are massaging organs on the left side as well as descending colon. Anytime you feel bloated or constipated, feel free to do wing releasing, either lying down or sitting on a chair. So you can adapt all the lying down poses to a bed yoga program that you can do before you go to sleep or before you get out of bed. Left hand on left knee, using a gentle circular motion. Five times one way, five times reverse. Change direction. Transition to spinal twist, so left and on right thigh. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top knee as close or far as possible. Left arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn and look at the left side, your neck is good. We're stretching, strengthening, toning lower back muscles, creating spaces between L4 and L5, helping you to relieve back pain. Slowly bring everything back to the center, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Then both knees, wrap your arms around your knees, rocking side to side, coming into a big, big circular motion, massaging lower back and sacrum. Also helping you to relieve back pain. Change direction, go the other way. Big, big circular motion. And slowly come back to center, lift your feet up to the sky, come into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back, opening up the hip joint.
Slowly come back to center, straighten out the legs. Nice and slow of control. We're going to release the legs back down on your mat using abdominal muscles. Once you've come all the way down, bounce it a few times. Now bring the sole of your feet together. Let the knee fall to form a diamond shape. And down by your side, palm facing down. Release the spine down, keeping a natural curve in your lower back. Like gravity does its job to open up the hip joint, slowing down the heartbeat, getting ready for Shavasana. And I'll be guiding you to Shavasana, relaxation. So you can have your legs apart as wide as the mat. Let the feet fall naturally. Arms are six to eight inches away from the body, turning the palm up to face the ceiling. Have a slight curve in your fingertips. Chin to chest, close your eyes, soften your face, relax the jaws, separate your teeth, lower the tongue from the roof of your mouth. Scan your body and see if there's anywhere that's still holding on to tension. Let yourself go. Letting go of all your stress, worries, tension, anxiety, anything that doesn't serve you anymore. Focusing on your breathing. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm and relaxed in your own little world, in the present moment. Couple more breath here. We're gonna slowly wake up the body by whipping your fingers and your toes, rotating your ankles and your wrists, gently turning your neck left and right. Bring the legs together, point your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Exhale, and down by your side. One more time. Inhale your arms up above the head. Point your toes, ribcage rising, elongate the body. Exhale, and down by your side. So bend both knees, raise the right arm, roll over to the right side of the body. Making a pillow with the right tricep. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. To close the practice, bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for coming, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide through the practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.